G'day everyone, welcome to Catching Up with Kurt. I'm Kurt Gidley, I'm with Managing Director of ProTech, Mark Mealy. Welcome along, Mark. Hi Kurt, thank you, thanks for having me. Good mate, um, now we recently spoke about co-creation um, and it was more about the clients. Can you tell us a little bit about co-creation for the field employees? Yes, yeah, look, look co-creation, I think, uh, you know, we spoke about the client side where it's really important to understand the objective they have uh, and we need to understand the work environments they have. So. It's very important to really have one side sussed out sure. and, and then the, the other aspect is obviously our field employees because ultimately we want to create uh, better and greater outcomes than what otherwise is achieved. So yeah. we need to get together and understand both sides and then have the right selection of the person with the right cultural uh, aspect of yeah. it and the yeah. right skill set then they're really making sure uh, it's matched up with the client. And in many ways as well, is what, what is the actual engagement framework that's going to suit both organizations in the best possible way. So, so that's why co-creation really is the objective of the field employees, what yep. they're trying to achieve and what the clients are trying to achieve and then find the right matches to bring them together to yeah. have greater outcomes. Sure. What do you see the future of co-creation, mate? Where's it going to take us? Well, co-creation uh, is, is, is very important, I think, in the next decade, absolutely, because uh, yeah, we are fast uh, changing world, technology is improving or, or, or changing our worlds on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah. And, in, and we heard it many times already, skill sets are going to change. The skill sets we had in a traditional form are not going to be the skill sets we have in the future. Sure. So we have many discussions with our clients now about what are the changing skill sets and how do we train for it? How do we find those future skill sets for our organization or for their organization? So I think this is where the future is going to be, even a better collaboration between yeah. workforce management organization like us and the actual clients who obviously focused on their task performance and really making sure we work together as two industries in that transitional time where everything is changing. All right, Mark, can you give us an example of how co-creation has worked for our field employees and our clients? Yeah, sure, look, and it can be very, very complex when you know entire workforce solutions and, you know, there's a, there's a complex world in the industrial relations or landscape. Yeah. Uh, but, but maybe one that comes to mind is uh, a recent uh, example we had in Tasmania and Burnie where uh, one of our clients in the manufacturing business really required a very high highly skilled welders yeah. um, where one of our our people really understood what the client needed and then created a solution to actually internally test those skill sets prior to them actually getting engaged and being deployed to site so so our staff member has been able to ascertain within the facility uh, of what that skill set is and really right. making sure that the high level skill set is actually there before we deploy a person into the field and send them away which obviously uh, rather than finding out later in two weeks down yeah. the track, yeah. the costs have been exploding. You know, it's a lot more efficient. Uh, it's a lot better outcome for our clients, but it's also meeting the expectations of the employee because the employee actually knows I can do this job and I'm going to be suited for that. So, uh, great example. Wonderful of a small idea. Co Co-creation piece where the client and us work together and, and created a solution for better outcomes. Absolutely. All right, Mark. Thanks for catching up with Kurt. Yeah. We'll Kurt, see you next time. You. Thanks, mate. Okay. Thanks for catching up with Kurt again. Over the next few weeks, we're going to be chatting all things safety. We'll see you then.